Gatorade literally invented the sport drink industry. This neon beverage has become a symbol of professional sports. When a NFL team wins the Super Bowl, the coach of the winning team is soaked by a bucket of, yes, Gatorade. This position in the limelight of some of the most iconic sports moments has earned them the title of the beverage of champions. But the last time I drank the stuff, I was violently hungover. And in more than a few of those clips, the liquid looks suspiciously like water. So what's really going on here? Today's video is sponsored by Storyblocks. The idea for this video actually came from our subreddit, Future Proof. So thanks to everybody who is over there leaving suggestions and feedback. We really appreciate it. And if you wanna join us over there, please consider doing that. Our Reddit friend was asking a question that so many of us ask ourselves. Why don't football players go pee during a game? The Florida Gators football coach too asked himself this question and so he asked it to a kidney specialist named Dr. Robert Cade. Kate sort of figured that this urine magic trick had something to do with the insane amount these football players were sweating during a game. So he went about measuring the amount of sweat that these players were putting out in a game, which is kind of a weird thing to figure out how to do. And it turns out that these players were extremely dehydrated while playing. To remedy this, Cade decided to make a synthetic sweat of sorts. Basically a mixture of water, fructose, sodium citrate, and monopotassium, which he then vomited everywhere because it was obviously disgusting. He gave it to the players though still, and they chundered their lunch, complaining that it literally tasted like urine, which turns out, was not entirely wrong. Apparently, Cade taste tested the drink against actual urine, and uh, yeah, yellow Gatorade is based on the real thing. But thank God for Mrs. Cade, who suggested adding a bit of citrus into the mix, and boom, suddenly it was kind of drinkable. The next thing you know, the Florida Gators were absolutely dominating their games. They started winning when they drank the stuff and losing when they didn't. It was as simple as that. And from there, the drink's fame quickly spread. Okay, we're gonna get a little sciencey here. When you sweat, you release a lot of electrolytes. In technical speak, electrolytes are chemicals that conduct electricity when dissolved in water. This is a group of minerals including sodium, potassium, and magnesium, all of which can be found naturally in fruits and veggies, and yes, in full minerals like salt. These minerals are crucial for all sorts of bodily function, but one of the big things they do is help regulate the balance of fluids in your body. So Sodium definitely has a bit of a bad rap nowadays, but it's actually really important for helping you retain water. And it is the electrolyte we lose the most when we sweat. So when doctors and trainers talk about the importance of getting your electrolytes during a workout, one of the main things that they're probably concerned about is dehydration. Electrolyte imbalances can result in things like muscle weakness, spasms, and fatigue, none of which you want when someone is in battle armor running at you at full speed. This is really one of those heartwarming moments in sports where you just, oh! So today we're at a point in society where most people probably know that electrolytes are good for you, especially when you're working out, but they probably don't actually know what they do. But brands like Gatorade have popularized this knowledge to sell a product, but it was a long time before Cade's PP beverage would become the gas station staple that it is today. Are you looking for stock footage of somebody pouring an energy drink on their heads? How about some footballer running through a field? That was exactly the conversation that we had when we were making this video. And that is why we use Storyblocks. Storyblocks is a rapid video creation platform that helps creatives and businesses of any size make videos with royalty-free 4K and HD footage, After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, images, music, sound effects, and so many other assets from their demand-driven library. They empower storytellers by helping them navigate barriers in the creative process. Given their extensive library, it's not hard to create a genuinely impressive piece of content. I mean, come on, you watch this video, 
You know how impressive it is. We have genuinely been using Storyblocks since the beginning of this YouTube channel's conception. It has been an instrumental source of creativity for us, and you've got to check them out. Learn more about Storyblocks and their affordable subscription plans by visiting the link down in the description. Thank you to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. So that first drink that Cade mixed up was basically just sugary salt water. Salt for the electrolyte boost and sugar for the energy boost, which was apparently all these athletes needed to stay hydrated and win a bunch of football games. But for Gatorade to become as big as it is today, they needed to run like Forrest, break free of the defense and head straight out of the end zone and run into the mainstream market. Now, believe it or not, it was a friggin' canned beans company that rose to the challenge. These guys made a much better tasting version and mass produced it in convenient cans. And yeah, the can thing didn't last very long and it was quickly replaced with bottles, but ultimately the company succeeded in commercializing the product, branding it as the beverage of champions. Over the years, this association with victory and athleticism has only grown, with Gatorade eventually partnering with one of the most famous athletes of all time to create this game-changing commercial, which maybe some of you remember back in 1998. The message couldn't be clearer that by drinking Gatorade, you somehow embody one of the most celebrated champions of the modern day. Now Gatorade fights really, really hard to retain this image. It cost them $13.5 million to get Michael Jordan for that one minute commercial, and another $18 million a year to make sure that Gatorade is the only non-water beverage at NBA games, and they just spent $2.3 billion to advertise with the NFL. And it's not all money wasted. Gatorade now controls about 70% of the sport drink market in the States, selling billions of dollars of drinks a year. Gatorade's popularity, as could be expected, prompted an entire industry of copycats. Figures like Powerade, Red Bull, and recently even Logan Paul and KSI are in on the fun. And yet Gatorade remains at the top, partly because of their all-in approach to retain celebrity endorsements and preserve that all-important brand image, but perhaps unsurprisingly, the majority of their sales are to people who aren't even remotely close to athletes. Yes, most of the people who drink Gatorade are not people on fields competing at professional levels, but you probably already knew that. But should they? Turns out Gatorade is horrible for your health if you're not running into those foam pad thingies all day. And there's even some question about whether or not athletes should be drinking it either. If you look at their classic fruit punch drinks, the top two ingredients after water are both sugar, totaling to about 52 grams per bottle, that's 13 teaspoons of sugar, more than a can of Coke, and about double what you're supposed to have in a single day. Now, of course, I don't need to tell you that sugar is bad for you. That's common knowledge, hopefully, at this point. But something that is sad is how this beverage is directly marketed to kids. Think of all of those Little League games with the Gatorade branding everywhere. As the Gatorade executives say, you gotta get them while they're young. <laughs> That was creepier when I said it out loud. I, mm, I don't know if I want that on the internet. But perhaps you are a professional athlete that needs a little bit of a boost. Does this beverage make you play better on the field? N not entirely conclusive. Although not everyone agrees, sports nutrition doctor Timothy Noakes recommends hydrating with, and this is crazy, water. This does not make him a very popular party host, but he does have a point. Now, I think pretty much everybody would agree that whether you are a pro athlete or a proactively hungover person, nobody needs to be drinking artificial colors that are linked to cancer. Oh yeah, and on that ingredient list are a lot of weird stuff. Things like flame retardant that they used to put in before the public backlashed on that one. Because honestly, people, if your drink is neon green, it's probably because there's some weird stuff in it. But as people are becoming more aware of the health impacts of these kinds of drinks, there has been some reactions. Turns out Gatorade isn't actually as popular amongst the sports stars as Gatorade would like you to think. Oftentimes these celebrities are contractually obligated to at least look like they're drinking Gatorade, but that doesn't mean that it is their preferred drink. Apparently, quarterback Tom Brady just drinks his own sugar-free lemon concoction out of a Gatorade cup, and that's enough for him. And I'm just saying that if Tom Brady 
just needs lemon water, then that's probably what we should all be doing. You buy the booby douche. Now, if you're talking about the Powerades and the Primes and the Gatorades, they're all generally the same sugar infused concoctions, but there are some alternative brands. BioSteel has been slowly capturing the interest of athletes with its promises of clean, healthy hydration without the sugar. And even Gatorade is picking up on this trend and has now released healthy, real hydration options, sans the added sugar and artificial colors. But I do find this hilarious when companies do this because basically they're admitting that the rest of their products are shit by introducing a healthy option. But here's the thing though, when it comes to us common folk, regular people on YouTube who are subscribed to Future Proof, the reality is that we don't need to touch any kind of sport drink ever. Doctors recommend thinking about your electrolytes if you're working out heavily for like over an hour a day, five days a week type of thing. Or if you've just lost a bunch of fluids or whatever because of an illness. Does being hungover count as an illness? We should Google that. But even for those more intense workouts or morning afters, more likely than not, you can just get away with something like coconut water or a DIY sugar salt citrus blend. The great thing about that last option too is that it's customizable. Your needs don't have to be dictated by a massive corporation making billions of dollars every year. And here is one more tidbit of unwanted and unsolicited dad advice, and you're not going to like it at all. Every single drink that you consume other than water is unnecessary. Don't get me wrong, I love craft beer. I will drink my coffee and tea, but there are entire aisles in grocery stores dedicated to drinks, and the reality is we only ever really need water. So if you're debating between healthy Gatorade and regular Gatorade, you probably just missed the point. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.